<laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the Crypto Sherpa channel, where I read you that crypto news. As today's article comes from Crypto Potato, and there has been a costly mistake where a victim loses $68 million in a dress poisoning scam. And that's right. So someone just lost over 1,000 wrapped Bitcoin by copying and pasting the wrong address for crypto transactions. So this scam still happens a lot, and the way to avoid it is never copy an address from your transaction history. This is what these scammers are banking on. They'll send you a zero to like negligible balance to get in your transaction history, hoping that you will copy their address that you just go, oh, I sent myself money last time. Oh, there's the most recent transaction. Copy, paste, boom. Oh no, where's my money? That's it. So to avoid this would be to always just uh, copy and paste from the received address location. Remember the transaction histories, just when you always go into any wallet and you click receive, you get your public address. That's the only place you should be copying that address from. And yeah, but yeah, let's go through this article, learn a little bit more about this. And I basically told you what did happen. So yeah, let me zoom in on this a little bit for you. So uh, doo -doo. I want you guys to be able to read it along with me. There we go. That's a good view. So here we go. So crypto hackers have claimed another major victim, fooling him into sending $68 million to a wallet he thought was somebody else's. Blockchain data indicates that once that a once wealthy Ethereum user lost all of his Bitcoin holdings after hackers contaminated a recipient's wallet history. The user now holds just $1.6 million in crypto at his address. It's down as $1.6 million, but what was the amount again? $68 million. Oh, oh, $60 million. Oof. Now, the dangers of address poisoning. According to Etherscan, the sending wallet's remaining asset includes 0 0.89 ETH, which is roughly $2,747 and $1.63 million peg die stablecoin. The assets stolen from the victims included 1,155 wrapped Bitcoin, a token that operates like a stablecoin for Bitcoin on Ethereum's network, mirroring the price of the dominant digital asset, and naturally wrapped Bitcoin is vulnerable to many hacks and exploits that are common in the Ethereum ecosystem, such as address poisoning, which this victim did fall for. Now, Wallet contamination or address poisoning involves sending a transaction, usually of zero or negligible value, to a victim's wallet, simply so the attacker's address appears in the victim's transaction history. Like I said, guys, like they want your their wallet in their in your in your transaction history, so that way you unnoticedly copy it. But notably, attackers will deliberately generate their address to have several starting and ending characters that match those of an address belonging to the victim. So yes, you can create your own vault, uh, your own like public addresses, and populate it with like maybe a similar address from like the first four or last four, but the but the middle is still completely different. So it's not completely identical, but mostly. <laughs> Now, uh, let's see, where was I? <laughs> the popular wallet software often shrinks addresses to display only the first and last characters, making the differences in the middle undetectable on the surface. Now, address poisoning in action. In this case, both the attacker's address and the real target's address had characters starting with 0xd981 and ending in 853891. So ideally, the attacker hopes they try to copy the address from their history, and the next time they intend to receive a transaction under the mistaken belief that it's their address or of someone they know. Last year, address poisoning targeted a series of safe wallet users stealing $2 million within one week. Back in February, a Kraken user was robbed of 1 million USDT after scammers poisoned their history, mimicking the victim's prior interaction with the exchange. Now, MetaMask suggests users avoid copying transactions from their history and to add frequently used addresses to their address book to avoid using any that aren't specifically whitelisted. Now, this advice applies to your own address as much as it does the addresses of others to whom you, be, you may be sending funds, and the wallet provider states on its website. So, yeah, guys, so just, again, 
always verify the full address and again don't copy your address from the transaction history that's this that's how these scams play out so i hope you guys understand how they play out so you do not fall for them and yeah let's just all stay safe in the space so i hope you enjoyed this article read through and if so smash that thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel and until next time the crypto sherpa is out